much, much, much later. Hello friends, it's currently June 24th and my first package has just arrived. I think I know what it is, which is kind of a surprise because it's not the first package to be shipped out and I saw the updates on the website. I'm going to try and open this with one hand because I can't get a good angle to put my phone down so let's just see how this goes. I already sanitized this and I left it out to dry. Let's try and open this with one hand. Don't know if you guys can see from here. Next. I do have to say this is wrapped really well, it's heavy duty tape. Okay, I'm gonna get some scissors real quick. A pair of scissors, let's continue. This is very unsatisfying. Can you guys see it? Right, this is actually the carrying case that is not a dent from the manufacturer, I think it's probably a dent from mine, I hope. Let's just open it up. Let's see. Yes! So beautiful. This is actually a hard cover as well. If you guys can hear. I should have probably used my right hand. Okay, I'm gonna be careful with this. This actually smells like green tea. I've seen some reviews where they did say they put in a perfume sachet, sachet, however you pronounce it. This is beautiful. So, hardcover case. This is not the official Aloha case sold by Nintendo, but this is a very, very good quality. Hardcover comes with a hand strap for carrying like a clutch. There's two zippers. Let's see if I can open this. And yes, it has two colors, just like the original. Let's see what's on the inside. Yes, they have a scented package. Oh, it's jasmine. That's really nice. So this is the part to put your Nintendo Switch Lite. I got the smaller version. There's two straps here to secure your switch light, a place to put your cartridge and to protect your light screen, and another place to put some extras, and it comes with a zip. Working all great. Definitely going to wait for my other stuff to arrive before I put them all together, and I'll show you guys when they come. Days later. It's June 26th. Welcome back to another unboxing slash unpackaging session. And I'm really, really excited for this because three sanitized packages. I know what these are. I've been obsessively refreshing and checking the page, and they're finally here. Uh, it's not been that long, but I'm very impatient. So I can't wait to get these open for you guys to see. I'm trying this new unboxing setup, but there's this weird flash being reflected from the glass table so I'm sorry but you guys are gonna have to bear with it. First package, we're gonna start big to small. I have two hands this time so let's open it up. So we have the first set of thumb grips that I ordered. Very, very cute, very simple. Honestly, I was kind of worried for these because they had zero ratings and zero sold. So I'm glad these came. I will take these out in a moment. 
Next, the second small package. I think you guys can guess what's inside this one as well. Because similar size package. We have more thumb grips, same color scheme and these ones are actually from a more reputable seller so I was not too worried, we will also take these out in a moment. And last but not least, honestly I was pretty annoyed with this because this shipped out the fastest, I think it was either on the day I ordered or maybe a day or two after that, but it took so long to come and this was from a local seller as well but at least it's here already. This is actually a quintessential product if you have the switch or switch light. Seems like I cut the packaging. Oopsie. We have a crystal case. So I just found this in the crystal case packaging and I'm so sorry that I cut a piece of it. But nice customer service as well. We have our three products, let's open them up. First impressions, these are really rubbery but they also feel a bit hard, they're not super soft and they seem easy to put on which I will in a minute. Similarly, rubbery feel, not too hard, not too soft. I really like this packaging, it's a really matte feel, very smooth. Focus. Alright, so this is actually a really thin case. You can see that it's bending a lot, which I'm not a fan of, but I'm not sure if this is how the original crystal cases are like as well. This, okay, it doesn't bend as much, then again, because it's a bigger surface area. Yes, so let's put this on. I have been testing out the hardcover case and I must say it is amazing, doing a great job at protecting my switch light. So I just take this off. It is a bit hard to take it out and put it in with these straps but I'd rather have the protection than not. So, just goes like that. This and we'll just snap it in place. Very easy to put on. Oops. So yes, I really do like the feel. I was worried about whether this will make the light too thick to fit into the case, but this is really thin. As you can see, it doesn't add much. So I'm not really sure which ones to put yet. Maybe I should just do one each. How about that? Like this maybe? Or like this? Because we do use this Joy-Con more for the movement. I think I'll just do that for now. These extras will go into the pocket that is in my hardcover case. Never done this before, but I've seen people do it, turn it inside out. And it should just fit right on top. Easier said than done. And I don't even have long nails, so this shouldn't be a problem for me. Alright, we have one on. Alright, that was easier than expected. Yes, these are on. These feel really nice. They give you extra grip, which will definitely help 
and it's going to protect your dry cons from wear and tear as well I do have one more thing that is coming it's not necessarily part of the switch accessories themselves it's more of an additional like I said it's an impulse buy and it's going to take a long long time to come and I'll let you guys know when it finally arrives in my hands Meanwhile oh fam, It's actually the next day And this is not related to the switch light But I just wanted to unbox it on camera for you guys to see Context, I've had this watch for 11 years And it finally went out of commission one day when I was at the pool So I decided to get another one Which is much cheaper and I think it's definitely worth its value for its price. I believe I ordered this at 1 a.m. on 26 June and it came today extremely fast shipping. So let's get this open. So we have the base for the box. The box comes flat in case you want to give it to someone or you want to store it I don't think there's anything else inside nope and this is the watch instruction manual oh so this is the oh the model is not written here It's not written here either. Don't worry, I know what I'm doing. This is such a beauty. So this is the W800 HG9AV. Can't wait to wear this to the pool. I wasn't a fan of wearing watches because I didn't like the sweat that accumulated on my wrist. But after this, I'm definitely going to be wearing this a lot more often. So I finished setting up my watch. Time is set. Let's take the last piece off. So satisfying. 48 hours later. Bam bam, it's 29th June. The last package has finally arrived 10 days after I've placed all the orders. So let's just get straight into it. It's a pretty heavy solid box. It came from Korea. So let's just try and open this up. I don't want to ruin the box inside like I did the last time. And excuse the construction noise in the background. My neighbor in the other block is having construction. Joy. There it is. Like I said, this is an impulse buy. This is not necessarily a necessity for the switch light that I have, but I saw this in the video, I'll link it down below. This is the Acto Octo Retro Mini Wireless Keyboard KBD50, and of course, I got it in mint to match my switch light officially licensed. I'm assuming this is a award or a warranty. No idea. Yes, it's really pretty. Okay, I don't think there is tape. Let's just open it. Oh, there is tape. Oops. Sorry, I can't film and do this properly, so... Okay, I should open now. Ah, so nice. 
me check first. So there's stuff at the bottom, I think. Maybe it's just a fill. Oh, there's stuff at the bottom. Alright. Oops. Okay, so it comes with extra paddings, which I'll show in a moment. This is the USB connector for the wireless function and it comes with two AAA batteries which I'm very thankful for if not I have to go buy them. keyboard and as you guys know if you have a switch it's very annoying to type on the screen this is gonna make my life way easier especially since I do play Animal Crossing as well it's a lot of typing functions there's a lot of sending letters and yes this is also a dual language keyboard you can see it says Han which is for Korean and Yong which is for English I can't wait to use this and I'll show you guys when I do forgot to mention so these extra paddings are for the ones at the bottom here. Yep, one last unboxing part. Yes. Hello friends, right now we're going to do the initial setup of the keyboard. And first things first, we're going to put in the batteries. Next, we are going to attach the USB receiver into this USB-C adapter which is actually from my phone but it works perfectly fine with my switch. And then we'll attach this to the switch. There. It's not focusing. Alright. You can't hear the volume. So we're just going to do a quick test by pressing and then I'm going to type and see if it registers. I'm actually typing, okay you, can't, you guys can't see it. Let me try and do this. Okay, I'm going to type with these keys because these are the only ones you can see. actually working really well guys. Backspace. This is splendid. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys what you can do with this keyboard. First, you can write messages, enter, and You can send letters to your friends. Okay, I don't have coins right now because I'm saving up for a house upgrade, but yeah, you can do that. And also, you can write on the bulletin board. Let's do one right now. A I'm going to leave my switch here. You guys see? Sorry for the flash. Alright. You guys cannot see because of the flash. Okay, I'm going to type with one hand. Okay, then after you're done, press this. Done! 
also wanted to do a quick feedback regarding the thumb grips and the case. So basically, if you guys can see, the thumb grips actually limit the range of movement of the thumb sticks as compared to, let's say if I took it off, you can see there's a big difference. If it's not obvious, alright, I'm going to show you. So without the thumb grips, I can run really fast in all directions. With the thumb grips on, I'm pushing this all the way to the side. This is the fastest I can go. I can still run in top and bottom and right, but for some reason, I cannot run in this direction. The other button is fine, it works just fine for the panoramic viewing function. But yes, it's either, I've not tried this without the case, but it's either the button covers without the case or the case without the button covers. And I would rather have the case than the button covers, but honestly for me, it's not that bad. It can get frustrating at times, but it's really not that bad, so I can live with it. And I would rather have these on and walk slowly than wear and tear for my joysticks. Yes. That's it guys for my Nintendo Switch Lite accessories unboxing. Did you guys like it? Was there anything you guys like, you guys have? Do let me know in the comments down below. I will leave the links for all the products and the video that I keep mentioning in the description down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time maybe. Sometimes I look back at these videos and I think about how in 10 years time when I look back on this account, these videos, if they still exist by then, what percentage of cringe will I experience?